Welcome to Aggieland. Kyle Field, SRO, more than 106,000 strong as Texas A&M looks for redemption off the stunning loss to App State. And number 13, Miami, seeks a signature win in year one for Mario Cristobal. One of the great spots for college football. Traditions in this great cathedral. Chris Fowler, Kirk Curb Street, Holly Rhodes, Todd McShay doing us tonight. A lot to unpack in yes. this game. Let's do it. This is going to be a good one. Is also a kick returner with 10 to 200 meter speed. He took one to the house in the loss to App State and scored the only offensive touchdown. And there is Tyler Van Dyke, veteran hurricane quarterback. Borregalis to boot it away. A chain from the goal line. Looking for a crease, sidesteps one tackler. He's dangerous. A chain trying to get free, and then he tackled from behind, limiting a touchdown with a tackle at the 36 yard line. Really, it's pretty good coverage here. I mean, my, this is what's dangerous with A chain, is he's got that speed, but look at that, breaks the tackle, makes another guy miss, and then his speed. And, and when he gets to the outside, it's very tough to slow him down. But Miami with decent uh, discipline with their with their lanes, but just breaks the tackle, and then he's got the speed to break away. Vontae Williams made the tackle. So Johnson and the Aggies begin from the 36, and there's already energy in here. They're very excited here about the quarterback change. Play action on first down, pass rush. He gets it away. Checks it down, and the catch is made by the tight end, Donovan Green. Now the motion by Anaya Smith indicates man-to-man. -man. Oh, yeah, settle into a groove early. A-chain on the delay again, breaks a tackle. He'll be brought down after a short game. Akeem Mesidor got him. Worth mentioning that. High snap. Second and five, A-chain up the middle. And he bursts inside the 30. So this Aggie offense clicking under the leadership of Johnson already. Well, they've tried to attack the outside, and this time they do a good job with Max Wright. Right here, nice little block, opens it up underneath that block. And again, it, I think if you're not familiar with A-Chain, he gets a lot of publicity because of how fast he is. But he will surprise you with the power in that lower body to be able to pull out of those arm tackles. Miami's got to do a good job of running to the football and trying to get shoulders on, on him and wrap up. Runs bigger than 185. Oh, yeah. Johnson from the pocket and first down delivers a throw again man open and that's Anaya Smith. You just talked about him. He's down near the 12. Watch Max Johnson's technique and every quarterback does it differently. Good job by mixing up run with pass. Watch his feet. A lot of guys like to move their feet. He just stands there. That's his rhythm and you can tell that they did a night. Hey Jane. Runs right into the wall there. Caleb Johnson stopped him. He had 38 snaps. App State beat him with keep away. Johnson looking cool in the pocket. It's dropped. He chain out of the backfield. He's a competent receiver and had some space if he caught. Yeah. yeah. Johnson felt pressure hit as he throws and it's incomplete. Miami's been getting home with just that front. Leonard Taylor was a change of kicker. Randy Bond, who's never made one in his career, in for Caden Davis, who missed badly that potential game time field goal against App State. And this little chip shot is knocked through. To the Aggies, jump on top, but stall inside the 10. Eight plays, 55 yards. Hot, trusted target. And the best receiver in this Hurricane team. He'll have to make do with a shorthanded and unproven receiving core. He's a very capable quarterback. Then I think knows what it takes, but he needs help tonight on the perimeter. And the first pass is complete. That's Mallory, their fine tight end. They want to get him a touch early, get him more involved. Tailback is Ole Miss transfer. Parrish who's had 200 yard games. It's a throw to the far side and the catch is made by a Redding. He's going to be stopped just short of the marker there. Where they're trying to stem. And that is Parrish fighting, spinning. He'll barely make the first down. Damani Richardson came around the edge, but they do move the six. Off the field, couldn't make stops on third down. Van Dyke lofting downfield, took a shot for Keyshawn Smith, and a flag comes out from this ACC crew. 
Jalen Jones again in coverage. Yeah. Jalen Jones, a veteran corner, but has not been playing a lot of football because of some injuries. Pass interference. Grabbed on the jersey. 17. 15 yard penalty. First down. They were without him, played the first two games. Now he's thrown in there against this Hurricane team. On play action, Van Dyke hit as he throws. He over the head of Brunson. And Brunson couldn't get near. Simple as that. Parrish on second and ten has the edge. And the old Miss transfer with a little dead leg move down inside the 30. He has been a breath of fresh air for this running game. We just talked about Jalen Jones not playing a lot of football this year. Now he's a veteran guy, but his eyes get lost. He's right here, but with the motion, this affects the safety. So the corner's eyes kind of get lost. You got a couple linemen pulling, and that gives you the edge right away. That corner 17's got to recognize that and come up and run support. He's, I got a little bit lazy with his eyes, and it cost him. 20-yard game. Van Dyke again play action on first down. Looking downfield, a dangerous throw. He tried to squeeze the ball into Elijah Arroyo, the tight end, and it was broken up by Tariq Chappelle. Now he got he last week, didn't play the first game. He's now in there. He's got the football. The man they call the rooster shows you his shimmy. He is dangerous with every touch. Knocked out of the 21 by Jones. I love the shimmy that you said. It's Knighton on a delay. He's got the first down. Russell down to the 16. He's slow developing play. Jones again in the tackle. Speaking of him. Ninth play of the drive. It's an option. Parrish on the edge. Muscle down after a short gain. Just couldn't get around the corner. Damani Richardson stood his ground. Yeah, really good job. Well, that cadet's band. It's noisy. And a pre-snap flag. And right guard moved. You practice against this noise, but you can't simulate the environment All here. Start. Offense number 70. Down. Cristobal is stern talking to that offensive line. Second and 15. Van Dyke has time. Wheel route and it's broken up. Edrin Cooper was defending. He had run out of bounds anyway, I think, before the ball. They just snap it. It's Knighton making a cut. And diving down to the 10. I like it. Maybe switch to a run, Kirk. They don't make the first down, but it sets up a short field goal try. Second year kicker. And he makes it 21 of 25. This oh. going to be a rolled R or two. From I, uh, I, Matching field goals on the opening drives. Midway first quarter tied up at three. And Devon A. Chain had an exciting return of the opening kickoff. Takes this one two yards deep. A chain works to his right and better coverage this time by Miami. They knock him down at the 19 yeah, they... on the opening possession. And you fake it to A chain pressure and Johnson will be swarmed and sacked by that Miami pass rush. Bunch of new faces. They went heavy to the portal in Miami and now with new quarterback Max Johnson under center. The Aggies after he was just sacked. Run a second and 15, and Johnson lowers the shoulder and gains some yards. Again, he replaces the embattled Haynes King and the LSU transfer. Rick here to watch the game to come up with on third and seven. Pressure again. Johnson stands and delivers across the middle. It's incomplete. They are in his face. DJ Ivy was in coverage against Devin Price, and here comes the punt team. Melbourne, Australia, well represented tonight. The lefty. It's his reverse spin punt away. It'll bounce and be fielded and muffed. And Texas A&M has come up with it. A mental mistake. And a disastrous result. And Texas A&M is set up inside the Miami 30. It looked like Chris Russell got down there and, and picked it up, the linebacker. But what a mistake by Miami. Unbelievable that Stevenson lets the ball bounce and then looks down to see if he should take it and takes the risk, takes his eyes off the ball because he knows he's about to get hit by Richardson, and then it's a free-for-all, and you can see right there the linebacker, Russell, gets on top of that. See the eyes? Took the eyes off of the ball, concerned about who's coming down, and then the mistake cost him, and A&M see if they could take advantage of the field position. Stevenson, the transfer from Georgia. And now they hand the ball off to their main weapon, Devon A. Chain, the sprinter, who scored both AM touchdowns in the loss to App State. Wants the ball exactly what his team did not need in this hostile environment. 
A chain on a delay, breaks free. Devon A chain with a stiff arm spins down. Did they grab the face mask at the end? He's out inside the five. He is electric, 10 to 2, 100 meter speed. Personal foul, face mask, defense number zero. Penalty is half the distance to the goal, first down. Well, this play is designed to go to the right. He's going to follow the right guard, Layden Robinson. That's where A-Chain wants to go, but right here he recognizes he's got trouble. And watch the patience and then the vision to be able to go back the other way. Gets behind the center's block. Bryce Foster, and then again, he's physical, and he has amazing acceleration. One of the fastest running backs in college football, and there's an obvious face mask at the end. Go heavy down here. Ernest Crownover, 230-pounder, in a fullback in front of L.J. Johnson. Old-school eye formation. Johnson dives forward. Touchdown! And the Aggies waste no time cashing in the mental mistake. Three plays, 28 yards with the penalty. And Texas A&M gets the shot in the arm. This offense has sorely needed a short field, and they make short work of it. Well, this is just a good job here by Johnson going up and over the top of defense at Submarine. But Miami, a young football team on the road, trying to establish themselves off to a pretty good start. They're able to get three and out, punt. But they had a massive blunder to set up the Aggies touchdown. And now we'll see Kirk, this Miami team on the road, this big hostile crowd, how they're gonna handle it. To help the entire game, discipline for that curfew violation, which has been reported. Canes keep it on the ground. Shamar Stewart tackling Parrish. I, I, you know, I, I just want to say one thing about Miami has been a team that's been very fragile and they've made mistakes, especially on the road. You have a new head coach who played there, understands the pride of the Canes better than anybody. You're on the road. You've been playing well these first couple series. You fumble a punt. AM takes advantage of it. How do you respond is a big, big part of how this game's going to go right now. The Miami team that I think too often in recent seasons, it goes back more than recent Previous seasons actually. Is under further review for potential targeting. This is Jeff Heaser and see, here's what they're looking at. It's on the hit against Parrish. Like Brian George, 16, coming in there. He drops the head, crown of the helmet, forced. But, you know, after the week after that they had review, last week. There is a personal foul with targeting against the defense, number 16. That 15 yard penalty. Is in force, automatic first yeah. down. And so Bill, is Bill is in fact right. So he's gone. Action. George is gone. But I, you know, after the he moves the ball to the 41. And again, Brian George is out. It's a flea flicker. Van Dyke threw a touchdown a week ago on a flea flicker. This time he finds Redding for a more modest gain. But Josh Cannis just loves a flea flicker. Oh, he sure does. And, and you know, he's he's looking, you know, to try to get this ball thrown deep. The outlet would be right here. And he's just going to look at the safety. Does the safety get deep and take away the deep throw? This is who he's looking at, trying to make that decision. And once he gets downfield, he goes, okay, I'll just check it down and still pick up good yards. It's Parrish trying to get around the corner. And he is going to be dragged out by the back of the shirt. Money Richardson. Jalen Knighton back healthy. He had a free play. Game, and he will take that free play and make a long throw and a catch made at the 32-yard line by Keyshawn Smith. One of the guys who's going to have to step up because Xavier Restrepo, the roommate of Van Dyke, by far his most trusted target, is out injured foot. He heard it in practice this week. And they will decline that. Decline, results in the play, first down. And that's one of my keys to the game. And so the reliable Restrepo. Van Dyke rolls on first down and delivers incomplete. Just out of reach of Smith that time. You know, moving people around. Knight and then Parrish have had success. There's a long throw. Bashard Smith and a nice tackle in open space by Jalen Jones. He made about five or six tackles already. Yeah, this is a run pass option where he's looking out to his right. He's got three receivers and he's looking at the inside receiver and he sees that cushion. So he's got two on two to the outside. He thinks, okay, we're going to be able to block that. Somebody's going to be able to get away and be able to pull away and make a play. And instead, the corner does a nice job. Both actually receiver skills at 6'5. 
Van Dyke looking to his left and delivers incomplete. Just flat out dropped by Parrish, who might have had the first down easily, and he held on to it. And they're playing a nine. And line drive off to the left. So the drop on third and nine proves costly. Canes can't convert, and the lead is still seven. Pressure him in the early going. A chain runs smack into the middle in his tackle after a short gain there by Wayman Steed. The back here is a true freshman, so they missed him the last two games. Johnson again hammered as he throws the football. Canes brings some pressure that time. Showing pressure on the left side, going to drop out of it. This time has good protection and delivers across the middle, incomplete. And good coverage again by DJ Ivy. We he saw himself again. He had a nice return last week. Very talented athlete. Back pedals here. This time he's going to let it bounce over his head, and it checks up. And Constantino does a spectacular job of executing a booming punt. Checks back at the nine yard line. It's his wrist 30 yards down the field. Goes a slant to Michael Redding, incomplete. But he's missing, obviously, the receivers that he worked with last year. From the pocket, a laser across the middle. Here comes a flag from the holding pit area. Jordan Gilbert on the coverage. Holding offense number 70. Capelli's to fly. Throw down. Well, the in. If they're stunning or blitzing up front. Van Dyke has protection across the middle. Redding knocked loose again. The Aggies arriving and delivering blows. That time it was Demania Richardson. And the Canes go three and out with four seconds left in the quarter. Now that's on Van Dyke for putting him his receiver in harm's way. He had a couple underneath routes. The back out of the backfield. And then he leads him right into this. As a quarterback, you've got to feel that corner on the other side just sitting there in zone coverage. Receiver really never had a chance. And I'm sure Van Dyke's telling his receiver, that one's on me. That's my bad. After further review, there is a personal foul targeting. So now they lose their leader, the guy that communicates back there. You remember you had Denver Harris and Smoke Bowie, the young DBs already suspended. Yeah. It's getting thin in a hurry back there. It really is, and I think you just brought something up. It's his 34th start. I mean, Richardson is a veteran, makes all the calls for DJ Durkin in her first year as a defensive coordinator. And while the offense has struggled and they lost to Appalachian State, the defense has been playing sound football, and you're taking away one of the leaders now in the middle of that defense, and they pick up a first down on that third down play. So now Bryce Anderson, a true freshman, is in at safety, and the Canes on the final play of the first quarter, a quick burst from Jalen Knighton, who does appear to be healthy, picks up eight, and frustration from Richardson. We'll have to watch from the sidelines. Miami drive, they pick up eight on first down, and now feed Knight again in the running game, who bounces for a first down to the 35. Now, they, I don't think they want to abandon that running game. Knight with a burst, and he motors for another first down. This Miami offensive line, it's a veteran group opening some holes. Now watch the right, we just talked about running the ball. Watch the right side, push people around. You got a nice open there. And I'll tell you that we're seeing we're seeing Jalen Knight and show great patience, great vision. And finally he's full go. He and Parrish are an excellent one-two punch. They I mean it didn't take a great back to run through that. He picks up seven more. Yeah, I, I just talked that we just talked of running plays that they have are big for them. This is Parrish who gets first down yardage to the 41 they've, they've got some shot mm -hmm. he'll attack when they cross midfield and it is play action on first down and Van Dyke does launch downfield and has a man wide open it's Arroyo and the tight end is run out at the 10 that's very much in the Gattis MO isn't it yeah and, and especially the reason he does, likes to do that here is he gets man-to-man -man coverage and he's able to sneak out a tight end who's lined up as a fullback and create a matchup, a wheel route. And I really think the safety thought he was going out to the flat. Gilbert bought on, kind of bid on that outside move. And a really nice job of Van Dyke waiting, waiting, waiting until the last possible second for him to get some separation. And he puts it right in his arms. Roy was a Texan, comes from the Dallas area. Extra excited this week. Now Van Dyke in the run, a long throw, just throws it away as a flag down far side of the field. 
I think he had a lineman downfield, possibly. Called their first trip now here. Receiver downfield, number 60. Five yard penalty. First down. Look at Mario. I mean, he takes a settle for a field goal. He wants a touchdown down here. First and 15. Van Dyke has some time, and the ball is batted down at the line. They didn't get near the quarterback, but getting a hand up. Albert Regis was in the area, says he got it. 6'1, yep. 320, number 15. Not able to get there, so nice job with those long arms getting. Knighton bumped into a blocker and is knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Tyreek Chappelle clogged things up off the corner. And Dyke under pressure delivers, and it's incomplete. Tried to find Redding, and it was broken up by the very busy Jalen Jones, who has stepped up here in this first half. Uh, you rush three, and you have eight in coverage. Nice change up here by DJ Durkin. Tough on Van Dyke. I mean, look at that. Look at the coverage downfield. There's just nowhere to go with that football. So he just opts to try to get it at least a completion, pick up some positive yards to help the kicker, but unable to com complete that one to Redding. So Borregales, who made the chip shot, then missed the 49-yarder. Back for a third try tonight. This from 36, and it's blocked. Blocked at the line of scrimmage. The ball will roll dead in the end zone, and a very reliable kicker. It only missed four in his career coming in, has missed two tonight. I think it was Regis again with those long arms. We saw him knock a ball down that was thrown a couple plays ago, and this time he gets his hand up again to block a field goal attempt. 15 off to the right there. Boom, that right hand. So a tough night for Miami special teams to say the least. The lead is still seven. Seven. And looking to throw. Took a peek downfield. The pressure will tackle him just behind the line of scrimmage. It'll officially be a sack for the restock from that defensive line. And it's a deep group. Johnson from the pocket across the middle. Incomplete. Pretty good coverage by this Miami secondary so far tonight. We check. James rush four. Johnson with a long throw the catch is made and battling near the marker And it is a first down for Anaya Smith this what? trusted receiver. Here's the arm strength for Max Johnson He's on that right hash good feel in the pocket sees that pressure right in front of him steps up Has a man right in his face and is able to put that ball on a line to the outside to Aeneas Smith for that first down How about that throw right hash to the boundary? With a guy closing in on it Johnson just three for nine. He has been pressured and harassed a lot. Both sides, the running game has been the more effective weapon so far. And A-Chain will be sworn when you wear 50. A-Chain again had to dodge a man in the backfield, but flashes that sprinter speed. And just like that, it's a first down for the Aggies to the 42. And we just talked about him, how disruptive he is. Watch him here. Watch how close. Taylor almost comes in to be able to make it a play again right there. I think he almost gets held maybe a little bit on the arm by Bryce Foster. But there's enough room there for A-Chain with that quick. A-Chain makes a move and barrels down to the Miami 40. Nice job by the left side. They're going to pull here, bring the tight end around. Watch this open up there. Right side collapses. Man, that opened up perfectly. That's textbook. That's exactly what Jimbo Fisher wants to see. 30 yards in the last two runs by A chain. They feed him again, and this time he'll be dropped behind the line. Swarming in there was Jared Harrison Hunt. Holly? Well, guys, one of the reasons. One of his 27 touchdowns last year. Second and 12. Johnson stands and delivers incomplete. Again, it's tight coverage. Not much there. James Williams, the very long athlete. Kings creep up and show pressure, then back out. Four man rush. Johnson has protection and delivers incomplete. Again, he's trying to throw into very tight coverage. And Tyreek Stevenson at Brad. Constantino. A really effective punt that checked up earlier. Spins it high. And does it beautifully again. Those Australians have some skills, don't they? Canes. And now Max Johnson in for him. And they feed the ball to the left side. And this is Parrish spinning. And makes a nice run to the 15-yard line. Bryce Anderson's qualifications for targeting. So their share of miscues, too. Parrish 
fights. It'll be a first down at the 19. Anderson's in the football. Just one catch for Mallory, the tight end, for two yards. This is Parrish again. And Sutter steps and bites hard. Runs much bigger than his size. And the former Ole Miss Rebel gets the ball to the 30. Three for 22 on this drive. And Knight this time hit in the backfield and knocked down by Isaiah Riggs. Holly? You talk about him with Cristobal, and he's assembled other coaches from all over the place. And Dyke launches downfield, and it's incomplete. Tried to find Jacoby George, one of those potential downfield playmakers. And, and, and you know, you, you talked about Damani Richardson being out when all that experience, so they're relying on some young safeties to make plays. Now, Gilbert's a starter, but he's a first-year starter. Does a nice job showing the range to come over there and get involved in that deeper throw. Look in the background, 26, Richardson out of the game, jumping up and down, trying to offer encouragement because he can't get out there and play himself. Van Dyke, 6 for 16 now. On third and 11. Battles buys time takes off not a natural scrambler and he'll be forced out way short of the marker by Chris Russell Receiver is a very dangerous returner and the Aussie rolls and boots it deep and Smith no fair catch evades one man Still alive and that'll be knocked down a very exciting zero yard return It's fun to see them collide early Johnson hands off and this is Amari Daniels Miami Central High School product so pumped up tonight. He'll know about half the game's roster, but probably played with them since he was five or six years old. A grinding effort. The ground game has been important. This is Daniels again. This time he is swarmed and knocked down just short of the marker. Yard yardage backfield, crown over in front of Johnson. The same two guys who were lined up when they scored their short touchdown. This time it's just a first down across the 30. Final two and a half minutes in the half. Two timeouts for Jimbo Fisher to work with. You're going to keep it on the ground with Daniels. So. But Miami doesn't feel threatened downfield. A chain out of the backfield. He's a threat, but a nice open field tackle. That's the way to get him down. Cameron Kitchens, that's a tough assignment against six in the open field. Now you take it on this third down. Off the play action, Johnson pump fakes and now checks it down to A-Chain. Defender fell down. That was James Williams. He gets up and makes the tackle, but it's a first down at the 47. Johnson, crowded pocket, long throw, no chance to make a play. Try to squeeze it into Anaya Smith. Second and 10, Johnson checks it down, and they are standing there and just waiting that time. Eight on this third down. Haynes do bring some pressure. Johnson is flushed, chased, and sacked. Slammed down by Jafari Harvey. And the kick. Old school first half. Chris Fowler, Kirk Curb Street, Holly Road, Todd McShay. Both quarterbacks uncomfortable by the other defense. The running game's been the better choice for both offenses. Special teams miscues by Miami have made the difference. And Tyler Van Dyke and the offense comes back out. Todd McShay here to analyze this NFL prospect. What have you on throws beyond five yards? The running game, they feed Parrish, and the Aggies begin to swarm that. You know, and, and Todd, uh, the second half as an offensive unit, including Van Dyke. And the catch made by Redding on the edge. You know, quarterbacks have their favorite reliable targets. And Xavier right here, your, your second half here, who's that guy going to be? And Parrish just stumbles to the ground. We know he's watching the game and, and send our opening Southern Miss in the red zone. Not so far tonight. Van Dyke is flush and will just dive down after a short gain. Maybe get out of that pressure. Still communicating as the ball is snapped. They do bring pressure. Long throw inaccurate off the mark to Keyshawn Smith who had a cushion there. To work on that. Tough to do in a game, right? Maya Smith backtracks to receive Headley's line drive punt and be knocked down at the 25 yard line. So, about as good as you can, and with a little attitude with it, you know, running, throwing. Here's the keeper by Max Johnson. 
not the blazing speed of Haynes King, but he's a competent runner, and that's the first time they've turned him loose tonight. It's a first down. Uh, he's reading Harvey. You know, he's he's been running this, and I thought that's kind of uh, interesting that he's reading this in man, and he, I didn't know he would pull it, but it kind of surprises everybody. 6'5", 220, pull. Johnson looks for a chain across the middle, makes the catch, and check it to Nia Smith, who breaks a tackle. And still fighting for yardage, slammed down, and a flag comes in. They'll add 15 to the end of the play. Smith, not maybe a burner, but very crafty, very strong with the football. 25 yards plus 15 on James Williams here. Yeah, their most proven receiver, most First reliable. Unnecessary roughness defense, number 23, 15 yard penalty. First down. A chain works to the outside. He goes out here, and you'll see the linebacker go with him. Once he clears out, man to man, look at that nice throwing lane for Max Johnson to be able to get that in there. This is what makes Anaya Smith so good. He's a running back out there playing wide receiver. And Miami, another costly mistake here, trying to bring him down. Body slams up there by James Williams yeah, at 15 yards on. This call, the penalty, was definitely zero. So the Aggies suddenly set up at the 25. Threatening to add to this lead. A chain hit in the backfield and spun down for a loss. That's big Akeem Mesidor. Smith goes in motion. Johnson looks for A chain out of the backfield, breaks a tackle. Devon A chain still running. He'll score. have not been able to get him to the ground all night. Now they got man-to-man -man situation with a backer on A-chain. And this is what you want. Give him enough room after the catch to be able to make a guy miss, and then you get him in open field. He can make a lot of guys miss. He and Anaya Smith are both the most dangerous weapons that Max Johnson has to work with. He hit them both on that drive, and A-chain takes it in. So A-chain's third touchdown in the last couple of games. 25-yard chunk plays, a 15-yard penalty, and just like that, the Aggies are up 14. Expected him to be... He's battling tonight. Oh, my God. I am so impressed. I expected him to be sharing snaps, and he is protecting Max Johnson to a T. A sign of that world-class athlete he is and that incredible shot putter he is doing double duty for the Aggies. Yeah, Marty, we thought he'd be limited. He's been out there, and he's been making a difference on that Aggie offensive line, Kirk. Marty, I can tell you, not only do you know medicine, you know football, because, boy, did they miss him last week. You know, they, they didn't have the leadership. There he is right there. This guy played as a true freshman. And they said having him inserted back in the lineup is going to be a big difference. And you, you've seen it. I think we've all seen it, right? My, he's winded between series. I see him, but he's digging down. Unbelievable recovery. Unbelievable recovery. A little credit to his mom, who clarified the fact that he recovered from mono. He's a keeper by Tyler Van Dyke. Marty, it'll be great to have you with us. Well, there's a handoff to Knighton. See if he can spark oh, this Kane's offense. The other down. 14 it's it's not panic time they just have not been able to create any shock you gotta trust that line in this running game man dyke pulls it rolls slings it down field had a man but just over the hands of Keyshawn smith they continue to try to switch the defense but haven't connected a more effective inside the pocket than out of it knighton runs through a couple tackles and gets slammed down he's Actually, Kirk inside the pocket. And Dyke 0 for 3 passing on third down. Now charging in very early is Terry and Lee. And that'll move it uh, a little closer. It'll be third and very short now. Watch Van Dyke here. Smart on the parish. Back in the backfield. And they fake it to him. Flip it to Mallory. Finally, the tight end's got some space. Big fella's been contained all night, but he is a weapon and rumbles down to the 36. So when you run the ball, it allows... Oyo spells him a tight end. It's Brinson in motion. They throw it to him behind the line in the open field. It makes one man miss, but can't get a block on the edge and is forced out for a one-yard loss by Antonio Johnson, Nickelback. Yeah, I'll tell you, Bryce Anderson, I wondered how a true freshman, and there are a lot of true freshmen in this two-deep, 
they recruited obviously very well but when Damani Richardson the leader on the back end went out with a targeting call 34 starts went with him you bring in a true freshman Bryce Anderson and up to this point young man has held his own on the back end nine true freshmen have played on defense for this team it's a talented recruiting class but these guys are learning on the fly yeah you're learning with every rep but number one's playing well Van Dyke for the play clock ticking down on second and ten pitches to Parrish and for the short side of the field just not much room Edron Cooper edged him out it'll be third and long now they lost two starting linebackers Van Dyke a three on the play clock Gets it into Jacoby George, and he has got a crease. Makes a cut. Jacoby George hurdles a man. Welcome back from a two-game suspension. His first action and his that's, first and goal. That's their maybe the coaches would tell you one of their best playmakers. He sees this cushion right here. It's two on two to the left of that receiver. They've got to make those blocks. He's got to outrun the man that had him. He did it. They secure their blocks. Easy execution, but you're relying on the talented receiver George to be able to run away from that cushion that that defender put on him. Now they're down inside the 10. Knighton dives forward. At this point, Kirk, Miami, which is not executed. First and goal from the 10 against a tough defense is a challenge. Quarterback keeper, and that time. Isaiah Rakes is ready for him, so that's an unusual the question is can he get the ball to the big tight end? Hurry. Mowry. They just get the snap off. It's a running ball. He, maybe they checked it down to Knight and Bryce Anderson, that freshman you talked about, flies in there and it's fourth down and it's a chip shot. Oregalis two for four. He chain back. See if uh, Borogalis gives him a chance to return it. And that'll land in the end zone. Extra yard for Teachers Week. Shane Gloria, we salute you. Extra yard for Teachers. Johnson on the run. He's made an impact as a runner here in the second half and dives forward for six. Fella, you're not counting mop up against Sam Houston's. No. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> And I think, you know, you go back to 14 starts that he had at LSU and, you know, on those starts helping. Big play for the Miami defense here to get off the field and give their offense the football back. They come after Johnson, pressure him, but he gets it away. And a complete across the middle, and Anaya Smith is still running, and he has been the playmaker on the receiving end here in the third quarter. He's across midfield. Well, they brought pressure this time. They dial it up. Again, it's been a little bit of a mixed bag. He a little bit of a delay, and then eventually Smith is able to get there. Almost looked like he got to him right as he threw the ball, but that goes back to his size. 6'4", six, 6'5", six, he's able to hang in there to the last second. And how much fun is Anaya Smith with the ball in his hands after he catches it? 26th straight game with a catch. The guy who'll put his hand up, he'll play running back. He'll play DB if they'll let him. He's just that kind of a tough physical player. Had a 25-yard catch in the last touchdown drive. That was for Ball 21. Start. Offense number 76, five-yard penalty. First down. Uh, Multi-sports basketball definitely. Looks like a point guard out there. Johnson has some green grass, takes off, tucks the football, and takes a hit from DJ Ivy. But again, a very productive gain on first and long. Yeah, making isn't a runner but he's showing he can do enough to make you have to respect it this guy's a runner a chain this time they get into the ground Miami has had a hard time tackling him as this game is worn on Ken M would love to continue to chew on this clock build this lead Smith though is going to be dropped for a loss on that third down play Canes were ready for number six they swarm in there SEC on ESPN Love the sway into the third quarter. Third largest in the history of this place. 107, 245. Fisher decides to punt here, opening play of the final quarter. And pent the canes back. Constantino has been precise, executed absolutely perfectly. On the hop, it's down at the one. He is a weapon. Go back to Columbia. Pen deep. Miami territory. Parrish with the carry. Jalen Knight was having his knee examined by the Miami trainers at the end of that last possession. So we'll see if he's out of germination. And give it to him again. He makes a cut and he gets the edge. And Parrish down the sidelines is shoved out across the 25 by Chappelle. But 
The Canes running game has given him some breathing room here. Boy, great vision here and then bounces it. And watch the block on the edge, 51 and 85. They kind of double team there. Nice job. The corner gets caught up in the inside. His career, he's got 82 on the 15 carries. They fake it to him. Van Dyke looks downfield and an inaccurate throw. Man, he had a man, Michael Redding, running wide open and just missed him. Yeah, and, and, and you know, often. Right, that time Redding was open. Into the ballgame comes Big Fat Franklin. He is a 240 pound back. And he is met in the backfield and dropped for a loss, and it's going to be third and long. They love sports, period. What can Gaddis do to get his quarterback comfortable to find someone to make a play here? They rush three. He's got time. It's a long throw. The catch is made, but short of the marker, I believe. Keyshawn Smith, are they going to give him forward progress? Wow. Boat was trying to push. And he will launch Smith. No chance. He was no just chance. caught up there. Jalen Jones has been active and busy all night. 10, 12 yard routes and, and still get first downs. Move the ball down the field. Well, he gets hit as he delivers. Smith was the intended receiver, but they came at him hard. Edron Cooper slammed into him. Yeah, they, they brought both the inside linebackers. It freed up Cooper to be able to get there right as he threw the football. Nice clean hit. Ball goes a little. And to keep this drive alive on third down. They actually dealt with the crowd noise pretty well. It's been the Yankees scheme and athleticism and the lack of playmakers. It's been a bigger problem. And Dyke on the crossing route. Mallory makes the catch. It's a first down and the big long legged tight end gallops into AM territory. He's really their best. And what is a urgent feeling drive. Now the night news back in the game after having his knee checked out earlier picks up about three. You go back to your question about much rhythm tonight. You got to go to the, again those. Well, they go to night here in the grind game Kirk and they're going to move the sticks. He's still fighting and he'll be shoved out by a bunch of Aggies as they run into the bench there and tempers flaring. But night and Parrish spelling night here. They fake it to him. Van Dyke is pressure tries to escape. And tries to make something on the run, just heaves it to the bench as he was hotly pursued by Antonio Johnson. Holly? And Anderson. And Dyke rolls and delivers, and that's George, Jacoby George, who's made a, a couple catches tonight in his first action of the season. There's a ball thrown with some authority from Van Dyke. You talk about how he likes to throw from the pocket. He's got enough ability to be able to athletically get outside and, and throw. What I like is he. This is a first down play. Again on the move, Van Dyke looking to create, flips it to Mallory very short. Man, from being yeah. a scary situation a few minutes ago, he's an NFL ability tight end. Picks it off, that's Mallory again, and he's going to be slung down there by Gilbert, and it'll be third down. Good tackle, bunched to the right are three receivers. And Dyke looking that direction delivers underneath and it's Parrish who makes the catch but is knocked down immediately by Antonio Johnson who is down on the field. A big collision and a fourth down decision coming up. And just does sneak it through that right up way. They move from the one to the red zone in 16 plays. Third down play calling in those red zone areas. They've run 30 plays in Aggie territory. They've run 22 more plays, not quite App State-like, but they heard in the 305. A-chain, meanwhile, had a really effective start to this game. We made some couple runs after halftime. Not big, but it's done. <laughs> Johnson on the pocket delivers and the catch is made underneath by Lane who's knocked down at the 30. You and Jan are down. doing that? There's so many other. Johnson across the middle. He just bounced the ball. Knocked down after the throw. So the pressure was part of the clock. A very quick drive. And they'll punt it back to Miami. Constantino. Another booming punt. Very high. And the fair catch is made by Stevenson. So Van Dyke and the Canes still in this thing. They need 
A touchdown this time, though, and a long throw and a catch made for a first down at the 44 by Keyshawn Smith. How about that line? Well, the crowd wants him to take a peek. They've already snapped the ball. Fisher used his one challenge earlier, and it was unsuccessful. Keynes did snap that, perhaps with this replay in mind. Let's see. Mm, looks like it's squeezed through really, and hit the ground. You think that's through there? Think they got away with one? They may have gotten away with one there. But it looks like he did get his arms down. Initially. It like it squeezed through. Might have gone through, yeah. They didn't buzz down quickly, and Miami was pretty shrewd to run a play fast. Van Dyke across the middle, and that's Mallory who's really getting involved here in the fourth quarter. First down into Aggie territory. I switch. Harris trying to get to the edge. Flag down. Fadil Diggs got him. It was as he was being pursued. Holding. It's holding. Offense number 85. 10-yard penalty. First down. You got Mallory on the hold. First and 20. Pitch to the sidelines incomplete. Tightly covered with Smith there by Chappelle. Another long throw, catch made, and a flag comes in again in the holding zone. Michael Redding made the catch, but Jeff Heiser has more bad news for Miami. Holding, offense, number 60. DJ Scaife went out at right tackle, injured, so yeah. Zion Nelson has slipped over to that. Seeing that battle in the pass pro. Rush four here. Throw underneath. Kobe George picks up about six. It will be third down in a mile. Rush three, drop eight. Make it tough on him in coverage. Takes off. Chances of scrambling on it in third and 24 are nil. And... Uh, it's a fourth down, so the the two holding penalties. Backer, what's going on here? Boy, Headley just thumps it deep and see if the Miami coverage team can corral it. They do, and be backed up at the one. There is a flag down line of scrimmage far side of the field, so we'll see if maybe they took off too soon. Could be an illegal formation. They had a three protectors. Redley, do they have enough guys on the line? Illegal formation. Kicking team one five in the back, four in the backfield. And five guys in the backfield. Four down. One man was lined up off the line. Yep. So that's a good play by the punter that uh, is wiped away. Right here. There's the, the, the fifth. You have the punter back here, then you've got three more there. It's a total of five. Only have four in the backfield. You know, Miami's going to, if they end up losing this game, they're going to go back and look at some of these miscues and they're going to try to learn from them in, early in the year. But uh, you know, it's, it's frustrating, I'm sure, for Mario when they go back and look because there's been some, some they had them pinned at the one yard line. I mean, a 320 to go in this game. Yeah, negated a 55 yard punt. Let's see what Headley can do with another chance. It's a, another good kick, very high. And it's Bobble! A scramble for the football down inside the 10. Oh, it's, a wrestling match. At it, the is, six. it is a big time wrestling match. Two guys fight. They're still fighting for it right now. Well, this is an enormous moment in the game. And Texas AM wins that wrestling match. How did Anaya Smith get that Smith. back? How did he fumble in the no, yeah, but I'm just, I mean, I, that happens. But how in the world did he get it back? This ball right there, you're thinking Miami's got it right there. But Anaya Smith gets on top of it for the Aggies and saves them. Wow. College football, that's all they ever are, right? What a scene in Boone. Now back to College Station, Chris Fowler, Kirk Kirk Street. The to have got it. It's a chain breaking free. He'll move the chains. What a heart and mouth moment for the Aggie land here. Anaya Smith and run this game out.
A chain tries to get back to the line of scrimmage and he'll get about a yard of it. Krista has risen up. He's been on the field a lot more than they'd like. And now A chain's going to be again knocked down behind the line of scrimmage. Now the timeout will be spent. Brothers, you're going to run it and make him use that last timeout. Well, this is their short yardage <laughs> formation. <laughs> You're going to make them spend the time out. Yeah, but I mean, you could you could play action. At, of, of course, with Jimbo, you never know. But he decides to. Here is a returner. If the Aussie gives him a chance, lefty boot is high. Stevenson, no fair catch, has some space for a second. And then they close down and hammer him. And Miami will begin from the 43. Minute 16, no timeouts. Pretty good field position. And Dank looks to his left, makes a throw to the sidelines, and it's Bouchard Smith who makes a man miss and scoots for a first down into Aggie territory. Pretty good job there, being able to get in this drive. No pressure. Now he retreats and makes a throw to the bench. Again, nobody open. He had a lot of time initially. So the first three true freshmen on the field right now, the Aggie defense in the secondary. And Dyke across the middle, and it's broken up. Breaking up the play is one of the veterans out there. I guess a sophomore qualifies as a veteran. It's Cooper. Back now, rushing three. Again, playing some zone. Knight out of the backfield makes the catch. He'll be wrestled down in, by Jalen Jones. It's fourth down clock in, running. In bounds. Did not get out of bounds. Got to make your fourth down call quickly here, but more importantly, you got to gain four yards. Look at the hesitation, the confusion. Clock tick, tick, tick. This is why you do these drills in camp. Here's the ball game, and it's incomplete. Delivered it under duress. Brashard Smith off his hands. Drops have been a problem for this receiving core. Since the beginning of training camp, and the Aggies are going to survive. Uh, just from just from the beginning, the play is in bounds. The clock is ticking. There's hesitation. There's confusion. Here's the route right here. It's actually a pretty good route. The ball is already out. Van Dyke does his job. Look where the ball hits him, right in the face mask. Ball couldn't have not been thrown any better. Pressure's on. There's the separation. He did what he needed to do. But it didn't it just feel discombobulated if it, it felt frantic not from Van Dyke But from the players around him kind of the theme tonight of the game when it came to the passing game The receivers aren't mature enough to handle these kind of situations yet Yeah, you, you needed to get that four yards to, to keep the game alive But the clock was ticking down you're, you're facing a dilemma there and You know without Xavier Restrepo we talked about it all night the top target, the roommate of Van Dyke, the guy that he trusts, the guy that he worked with all summer long to develop that chemistry, that timing for routes just like that, it has been a struggle. But even it may when, be a struggle until seven was, gets well, back. Well, even when seven comes back, Restrepo, you, you still need others besides he and Will Mowry. I mean, if they're going to really compete with a quarterback like this, the line did a pretty good job tonight. The backs are running pretty good. The development of the receivers as a group, even with Restrepo back, is going to tell you what kind of year they're going to have offensively in this new system of Josh Gaddis. Back home from Middle Tennessee State, then a bye, then the ACC opener against North Carolina. And the Aggies get a win in front of the third largest crowd ever to ease some of the sting of last week. Jimbo Fisher continues to have success against Miami, 8-1 and one in his career. And let's go down to Holly with Jimbo. Well, Coach Fisher, you had to make some difficult decisions this week, and one of them was pulling your quarterback. How do you describe how Max Johnson came in and performed? I thought he did a really nice job. He led the team, played with poise, and didn't try to take things that weren't there. Made some plays when he was there. We got to get a lot better, but he led us to victory and did the things we had to do, and our defense played outstanding. I thought Devon A. Chain was so terrific for you tonight. How do you describe the burst that he gives you? He's just an unbelievable athlete. He can catch and run, and he's a very diverse guy. And I has played really good. We have a lot of those guys like that. We just got to get to use them more and do a better job. You had to make a hard stand tonight and help some young men grow up. How hard was it, though, when you kept seeing DB after DB go out of this game? It, it, listen, we got we got to do what's right. There's, you got to do things right no matter what the circumstances are. I think we help us. We got to get everybody on the same page and doing those things. And all right, just sometimes mistakes are made, but we grow. And that's what kids do. But uh, you know, we, we our team showed a lot of heart and a lot of guts today. To beat a team like Miami that's on the come up, how do you describe what this does coming off that loss last week? You know exactly right. Sure, that's I say fear does two things. 
fear, fear everything and run or face everything and rise. And that's what we did, and we got to keep doing it. We got to get a lot better, though. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Out game by 128 yards, but much better in the red zone. Yeah, they, obviously, I, I really applaud Jimbo Fisher after coming off a loss to Appalachian State. You have four players who are very talented that could have helped him tonight. They're not going to follow the rules. They, he just sits them out and takes on the Miami Hurricanes. It wasn't pretty. It's a win. Maybe a win can start to spring them in a, in a, in a much better direction because right now the offense still trying to find itself, even with Max Johnson in there. Not home again for six weeks. Arkansas in Arlington, then three SEC road games, including that game in Tuscaloosa that you may have heard some about in the offseason. So it's going to be a tough road to hit for the Aggies, but they get a satisfying non-conference W over the Hurricanes tonight. We enjoyed it from Kyle Field, the game produced by Bill Bennell, directed by Derek Mobley. We thank our entire crew for Kurt, Holly, Todd, and Marty. Chris Fowler saying so long. College Station Sports Center. Scott Van Pelt coming up right now.